So we have A, the random variation. And to get an idea, an estimate of what the random variation is, how much it is, we look at the within group variation. And then we look at the between group variation. And if there's not any substantial difference between the groups, so if it's just a random difference, then that difference between groups should not exceed the random differences within groups. Okay. So imagine these are three different groups, right? Each of them has a mean and they have a distribution, right? A variance. Okay. Now we want to understand, well, you know, this within each group would be within variation and the variation between the groups across these groups would be between group variation. So therefore we put the variation within into relation of the variation between groups. Right? You could see here the fourth, the fifth and the sixth grade class for example, they are far apart. So they're further apart than the variation within each of these classes. Or then here we have three different groups and we can see these two groups are closer to each other, but then this group here is quite further away. So overall, that between group variation seems to be bigger than within group variation. So in the first step, the ANOVA just tells you is there a bigger difference between group than within? And to do that, we calculate a ratio, the F test, and where we say, okay, how much variation is between group? And then we divide that by how much variation is within group. And again, the idea is, well, if the between group variation should be separated by a natural variation, that's that random variation, and a group difference effect, right? if there's really a difference between groups. The within group variation should only be natural variation. Right? And then we use this natural variation from within to compare, this should be similar to the natural variation up here. Right? And if there's more left over, right, if, there would only, if there would be a zero group difference, those two will be exactly the same, the natural variation above and the natural variation below. i got to take that back. They wouldn't exactly be the same, but, but they would be pretty similar, right? As you can uh, remember with statistics, there's always some fluctuation, but we want to look at, well, how likely is, is a difference significant or not? So if, there is a, if they're exactly the same, you get a 1, a ratio of 1. 